So when we talk about breathing easier with asthma, another component is nebulizers. Can you tell us a little bit more about that, Nancy? Yeah, nebulizer is a machine that actually creates medication mist that comes out of mouthpiece. The machines are all different shapes and sizes. There are some that are small enough to fit in your purse. They are oftentimes very well reimbursed by insurance companies, so that's a good thing. So the mist that's created with the uh, nebulizer is something that an individual would breathe in slowly and deeply while they're sitting upright for a matter of usually about 10 minutes. Sometimes they nebulize a little quicker. You know when the medicine is gone because it kind of starts to spit and sputter. Okay. Uh, and so at that time, that is when you would um, stop the treatment. Nancy, is that something that they use for a maintenance thing that they do every day or is it more of a rescue? It depends on the severity of your asthma or what lung disease you have. Okay. Because some individuals take these more than once a day. Hmm. And they do have, most of the time, a rescue medication or a combination medication inside. How do you utilize a, ne a nebulizer? So the best way to use a nebulizer and to get the most medication in your lungs okay. is to do it with a mouthpiece. See the mist mm -hmm. that's coming out? Mm -hmm. Well, when I actually breathe in, it's important to see that mist disappear with every breath. And as I exhale, the mist will come out again. And as I inhale, the medicine will disappear. Okay. okay, because then I know that it's in my lungs. Because children, sometimes elderly people, will put the mouthpiece in their mouth and they'll breathe through their nose and they won't Oops. get the medicine. Okay. The last thing that you do with the nebulizer is um, you'll take it apart, rinse it with warm water, and let it air dry. Once a week, however, take it apart and soak it in one part vinegar, two parts water for about 30 minutes, and then rinse it and air dry. How do you and, put the medicine in them? Um, you'll take off this part here, and you'll put your medicine, most medicine is in a little plastic vial, okay. and you'll squeeze that in, or maybe it's in an eyedropper. Okay. Um, squeeze that in right through here, and then put the top on. And you said that there are maybe some different ways than just the spout that people use sometimes? Yeah, there's different ways than the mouthpiece. You can use masks of different sizes. Okay. Like for example, lamb chop. Mm -hmm. You would take that mouthpiece off okay. for me. Uh -huh. And we would hook the aerosol mask up to lamb chop it this way. Okay. And so the mist would be blowing in lamb chop's face essentially. So we would want lamb chop to take nice, slow, deep breaths okay. throughout the whole treatment. Okay. Now the problem with the mask is, is it's blowing in your face and it's going to be, you're going to be breathing in through your nose and your mouth. So right? it's harder to and get so it in And so it's harder lungs? to get it in your lungs that way, okay. even if you take nice deep breaths. It sounds like nebulizers are another important tool for people to be able to breathe easier with asthma. Absolutely. Stay tuned to learn more about asthma treatment in our series.